Good afternoon, everyone. With excess ice growing off of Antarctica into record territory for the second year in a row, we need only look at the southern seas to see which of continents would be affected by this. Water temperatures will be colder, affecting weather patterns around the three different continents. Chile, 20 feet of mountain snow, advancing glacier. Argentina, advancing glacier incredibly strange weather anomalies around New Zealand, record cold in the Northern Territories in Australia, early snows across the Sutu in South Africa, 80 mile an hour winds blasting Cape Town's Table Mountain, while the world focuses on the Northern Hemisphere and some minimal ice loss this year. There's been no real media exposure about the Antarctic ice reaching record for the second year in a row. A visual reference above the graph, this is where the ice is extending out towards South America as well as South Africa. Taking a look at the different water temperatures here, I've compared the 2015 with the 2009 overlay. I've pulled out the individual areas. The left is off the east coast of Argentina. The right is to the east coast of Africa where you can see the temperature differences in the water. On the large photo you can't see it so well but here you can. As well New Zealand and Australia take a look at the temperature variance there. And you can easily see that the water temperature difference is having some effect on the weather regionally as well as continentally. Southern Hemisphere ice has gained one 0.2 million square kilometers current southern hemisphere this goes back the last two years notice how it's spiked up since 2014 this year's southern hemisphere ice season is going to extend far past that 17 million it's going to break that record and go right up into 18 or 19 million and with the push of this ice cooling the waters and changing currents around the area, take a look at this New Zealand anomalous weather that popped through in the middle of April. Really early, really cold. Some of the headlines going through, coldest record temperatures overnight, road crews working flat out to keep the roads open. It's heavy and it's very early and it's very cold for April. Nobody's expecting this. It's early. 15 centimeters of snow, half a foot. Leaves should be changing. That's about it. Snow covered mountains, incredible chateau there. Kovai Bush in Canterbury. Take a look at the snow cover on the fields, that's pretty deep. Farm animals affected as well. Port Hills and Christchurch. And look at the depth of the snow, not expecting that at all. Desert Road was closed. The snow came all the way down to sea level. That's the equivalent of the snow going all the way down into San Diego, right onto the beaches. And everywhere you look, it's always early snows, winter blast early. This is a picture in central Otago in 1903 in the middle of July. That would be right in the center of winter, but look at the depth of snow that they received in New Zealand. Will it repeat this pattern? Going up into Australia, Northern Territory, record April low. Coldest ever recorded April temperature. We're just looking for the signs around the Southern Ocean. Argentina and Chile. If there was anything going on there with anomalous temperatures, it would pop up. Oh, 20 feet of mountain snow in five days. That counts. The Agua Negra Pass was also closed for the entire month of April. And April 2nd, you have to realize us from the Northern Hemisphere, that is the equivalent of getting snow September 1st at this depth that closes off roads in the mountains. Really rare on this. Secondary signs are advancing glaciers. Glacier PO11 advancing. You don't hear about that on the news. You can jump right in here to the glacier laboratory. I've linked that below. You can dive in and see exactly where the glaciers are. This one's also termed as the Bruggen Glacier. Both names are applicable to the same exact glacier. The Perito Moreno Glacier is also advancing. That one is in Argentina. That's what it looks like. Beautiful. Look how blue that is. Nature is so wonderful. Oh, that is just amazing, that picture right there. Speaking of wild weather in Argentina, April 3rd, this is so early in the season. They don't even usually get any kind of dusting or cold temperatures until May, like late May. This is two months early. Depths of the snow that are falling. Wet snow, of course, it would be at that time of the year. This is Rio Turbio and El Calapate. 
Jumping over to South Africa and Lesotho, April 16th, some of the heaviest snows are coming down in the red circle, a little bit south of Lesotho there. Here's some pictures of what the Afriski Mountain Resort in Lesotho looks like. Shouldn't have snow this early, definitely not. They're so stunned in the media that snow hit the country in the middle of autumn. Did you see snow? They're asking people, did you even see snow this weekend? Share your experiences. That's how rare it is. And when you get snow depths like this on the Eastern Cape, Table Mountain also at the same time closed. Now this is a stock photo here, but this is the real conditions that were occurring on the mountain. 80 mile an hour winds blowing the, the fog off the coast over the mountain. Incredible. Now another thing taking the toll in South Africa, they're on rolling blackouts and brownouts now because of load shedding. There's too much demand and there will be too much demand during the next two years in the winters because of low diesel reserves, wet weather, damp coal that doesn't burn as hot and as quickly, demands and strain on the national grid. So when we look down the road going forward here, when we start to see strains like we did in the Northeast United States and Canada this year, everybody cranking up their heat because we're just so incredibly cold. Now we're starting to see the same exact thing in the Southern Hemisphere. At some point in the very near future, one of these electrical grids is going to go down in the middle of a cold event. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you like the information, subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030.